Hi guys and welcome back to a new video and I'm sorry for not uploading that much um, this week. This girl's been pretty tight but I'm coming back here. I have my Premier League predictions for match week 32 I believe. But it's not only Premier League, we've got about 6 Premier League games on this week. And I've also got 2 uh, FA Cup semi-final ties. So we're not going to waste any time with the intro here. We're just going to get stuck into it. And we have a Friday night fixture on tomorrow. Everton take on Tottenham. Now both these sides have been struggling lately. They're in the top 10, but they're struggling. They've been struggling. Last week, um, or Monday, should I say, Everton played a nil-nil draw against Brighton. Tottenham lost 3-1 to Manchester United. Of course, happy about that after being 1-0 ahead. I think here at Goodison Park, it'll be a tight one. Last time these two met it was the first th day of the season, I believe. I believe Everton actually won 1-0. I'm going to say I'll play it for another draw here for Everton. I'm going to say I'll finish 1-1 here. And I think Tottenham Hotspurs, it'll be 1-0 up at halftime by that sheet song over uh, Harry Kane, I'm going to say. I'm going to say Everton will score through James Rodriguez. And Tottenham will once again blow another lead. So my verdict here to Everton 1, Tottenham 1. And now Newcastle United, they take on uh, West Ham United. Now West Ham played really good last week. They were 3-0 up at halftime to Leicester. Leicester to come back into it, but they still did win 3-2. Jesse Lingard showing uh, himself as a major threat. Um, I forget who Newcastle played. Oh yeah, I do. They played, I'm pretty sure they won 3-1 against Burnley. Not good for my prediction, but good for them. I want to say though, here at St. James's Park, they will go back to uh, losing ways. Uh, I'm going to say West Ham United. They will come up to the north and they will win here 3-0 um, up in time. I'm going to say Lingard will also score another one. I'm going to say Mikel Antonio might score and even someone like Thomas Suchek will score again. So my verdict here, Newcastle 0, West Ham 3. And now the only the second and final um, uh, Premier League match, I believe, on uh, Saturday, sorry. And it's Wolves versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United lost 3-0 to the hands of Arsenal at Bramall Lane. Not good for my prediction. I predict 2-0 in that game. Not very good at all. Wolves... They, of course, scraped a 1-0 win at um, Craven Cottage last week at Fulham. So, but I think it'll be, still be a different story. I think Nuno is a must-win game for Wolves. And I think they will win. I'm going to say they'll win here 3-1. I'm going to say it'll actually be 1-1 at half-time. But Wolves will be the dominant side, I think. And they'll get two goals in the second half to get the win. So my next prediction here, Wolves 3, Sheffield United 1. And then the two Sunday games in the Premier League, at least. Arsenal are at home to Fulham. Now, I've already mentioned Fulham and Arsenal, and um, so we're just going to get straight into this prediction. I'm going to say here, Arsenal will get back to winning ways, back to back wins for them. I'm going to say they'll win 3 1 to Fulham, and despite being in Europe on Thursday, despite being away to Slavia Prague. I'm going to say they'll actually go 1 0 down very early on to Fulham by Anguissa, who's been amazing this season. And then I think three goals, three easy goals by Bamiang and Lacazette again with a brace. I'm going to say we'll seal out the win. So, Arsenal 3, Fulham 1 is my verdict here. And now the final Sunday match in the Premier League. It's Manchester United, my team, and we host Burnley. This should be a pretty straightforward game for us. Tonight we have the chance to advance to the semi-finals of the uh, Europa League. Well, I wish it was the Champions League, but Europa League. Um, I think Burnley, they did lose 3-1. I'll tell you what, um, if Nick Pope is not in nets, this could be an easy one for us. I'm going to say, though, we will win 3-0 nonetheless. I think uh, Rashford will score. I think Bruno Fernandes will finally score again. And I'm also going to say someone like McTominay will step up. But yeah, I think McTominay can get a goal in this one. So my verdict here, United 3, Burnley 0. The final um, Premier League match for this weekend. It's on Monday night. It's Leeds United. They take on Liverpool. And Liverpool exited in the Champions League. They lost 1-0. No, 1-0. They drew 0-0 with uh, Real Madrid to lose 3-1 in aggregates. I think this one will be very tight against Leeds. Of course, they amazingly beat Manchester City with 10 men. They had, they had a great achievement, but I can't see them winning here against Liverpool at Island Road. I'm going to say it'll fall to a 1-0 defeat. I'm going to say Diogo Jota getting the only goal. I think Leeds United will play a very good game. Worry Liverpool a lot, but overall, it'll not suit out. So my verdict here, Leeds nil. Liverpool won. That is the end of the Premier League games. Now on to the two FA Cup semi-finals and the big one, Chelsea versus Man City. Now both these teams are in the semi-finals of the Champions League. Chelsea won 2-1 on aggregate to Porto and City won 4-2 on aggregate to Borussia Dortmund. Cheating on their way. Cheating, I mean. And now here, what do I think will happen? This is a very big game and it could go either way. I'm going to say Manchester City 
will certify their place in the final. I'm going to say I'll win here 2-1. I'm going to say it'll be 1-0 City at half time. And they'll go 2 0 up. Later on, I'm going to say Mason Mount will score. I think Phil Foden will score again. And I'm also going to say Bernardo Silva will score in this one. So Chelsea 1, Man City 2 is my prediction here. The final one, it is the next one. Leicester City will be against Southampton. I was about to say Leicester will be at home, but it's at Wembley Stadium, of course. And now Southampton, they've been really struggling lately. They lost 3-0 to West Brom, which I'm still shocked about. Leicester City, on the other hand, of course, they lost 3-2 to West Ham. But I think this will be a different story. I think Leicester will be steamrolling themselves in the final of the FA Cup. I think they will steamroll a 4-1 victory here. I want to say it'll be 4 0 up at one stage. And a consolation goal by Danny Ings will get them through. I think uh, Southampton fans will just have to wish another, not another 9-0 on their hands. So my final prediction for this video, Leicester 4, Southampton 1. And that's the end of the video. I know um, uh, video uploading has been a bit tight lately. I plan to upload t two videos in the weekend. Uh, but anyway, like and subscribe, as I said, at the end of my videos, always and tune in again, to, tune in again possibly Saturday, we'll upload next. Also, turn on notifications, and I hope you have a nice day.